Hey guys, what's up, I'm back with another video, however, this video is just going to touch on the upcoming Windows 8.1 end of support, which will happen on January 10, 2023, which is two months away from the date of this video being produced. Microsoft are cutting the plug with support and updates for Windows 8.1, which means that after January the 10th of next year, it will no longer receive updates or patches, and Microsoft will not offer any warranty or technical support whatsoever, so what are the options, you might ask. I have good news for you viewers, there are more than just a single option for you if you are currently running Windows 8.1 as your main system. Firstly, you can quite confidently upgrade to Windows 10, just a version behind Microsoft's latest OS, Windows 11, that's also known for having strict hardware requirements, Windows 10 should be able to work on a computer no older than about 10 or so years old. My personal PC is from 2011, and I've had no issues running Windows 10 on it, since I bought it back in December of 2020. If your machine is new enough however, you may be able to run the latest and greatest Windows 11. But if you have a computer that originally had Windows 8.1 on it, it may not work with Windows 11, but until October of 2025, you are fine to use Windows 10, it's just not going to have all the features that Windows 11 has, although I personally prefer a lot of things about Windows 10 compared to Windows 11, but if your machine can run it, then that's great, if not, there are other solutions. Another option is to keep on using Windows 8.1 with or without internet connection, although you really should disconnect it from the web, as it will be a big security flaw filled OS with no regular patches, and hackers like to exploit people using old, defunct operating systems, more so than people on current platforms, so this might not be the best choice if you value the internet, however, if you rarely go online on your Windows 8.1 machine, you can happily run it offline all the time, and not worry about any potential flaws being exploited. If you do want to keep modern on the web, then you may need to migrate to a different operating system, whether that's Mac OS, a great operating system for those who can afford Apple products, or, the better alternative, especially for old computers, Linux. Linux is free and open source and there are so many distributions that exist in the whole world of Linux, with a handful of easy to use ones, and others that are specifically made to run on older hardware, and some distros can even run live off of a DVD or USB, and that's where one of the benefits of running Linux comes in handy, in the sense that your machine will most likely see a small or medium increase in performance, I have an old Dell Latitude laptop from 2012, and it happily runs Windows 8.1 and Linux Mint side by side, so if you really wanted to, you could run Linux alongside Windows, just be careful if you plan on using Windows 8.1 online, it will be much more prone to malware, but if you're a witty user who has some sense, doesn't visit shady websites, and doesn't download suspicious content, you should be pretty well right although I still recommend you upgrade to a supported operating system to receive the latest and greatest updates and features, and in some cases, it might be better to go the full Linux route instead, although it can take some getting used to if you want to use Linux as your main system, I would highly recommend Ubuntu or Linux Mint, as they are perfect for beginners and noobs, and as long as you can run the same programs you use on your ordinary PC, you should have no issue whatsoever transitioning to Linux. You may also be able to use another operating system beside the main three, such as BSD, Android, iOS, Chrome OS, or another OS out there. I hope these suggestions are useful to those of you running Windows 8.1, hopefully, this will make your transition a little bit easier, and personally, if I had to choose the easiest route to go on. I think the path of upgrading to Windows 10, or switching to Linux, would be the best path to follow, as you will be able to keep all your important applications up to date, as well as your OS. Alrighty, that's all for now folks. 
please remember to hit that subscribe button, and do be sure to give my videos a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. Okay, bye for now.